So Gigi, which kit are you using today? Yeah, so this is the Pearl Reference Kit. This is my favorite kit from Pearl. Um, long story short is that they went and checked with a lot of different drummers on the types of woods that would get the best sound for each size drum. And then they came out with the reference. I used an 8, 10, 12, 14, and a 16. 22 inch kick drum. The depths vary depending on the different companies that we get the drum set from. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the set I'm using. What about the cymbals? Cymbals are Sabian. Definitely always Sabian. I have a mixture of HHX and AAX. I love the ozone cymbal. This is the guy with the holes in it right here. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like a, a China married a splash. It's got a nice little trashy kind of vibe, but it, it adds color. I like to approach symbols with adding, for, for adding color to different songs at different places. Just give us an example of what each one sounds like. Okay. So this is the AAX 12 inch splash. And this is the HHX 12 inch, same size splash. Give the difference? This is a little darker. Lower pitch, a little higher pitch. Ozone. Yeah. It's that trashy kind of vibe I was talking about. This is my ride, HHX Classic Ride. Normally I like the High Bell Ride, but uh, for tour, this is my touring symbol right now, but if I'm in the studio, I'll use the Raw Bell Ride. The bell is pretty sharp, and the rest of the cymbal is pretty sharp. It doesn't give you a lot of overtone. The tone is pretty consistent. That's what I like about it. What about the China? Yeah, China is self-explanatory. You know, um, with this gig, with Acoustic Alchemy gig, I tend to use smaller size cymbals so that the harmonics and the frequencies won't interfere with the acoustic guitars as much. And you got the hi-hat there as well. Yeah, well, of course, this is the flat hat. If you can get under the bottom here, you see there are holes, which allows for the air to escape, which for me gives it a nice, tight, crisp sound. This is the only drum that I use that's not Pearl. And this is my Brady snare drum. This is actually the prototype for this drum. Got this from Chris Brady himself. It's 12 by six. It's made out of a special wood called Jara. J-A-R-R-A-H, and it's only found in the bush in Australia. Staved ply like conga. So it just gives it a nice crack, but it still has a body. Nice and tight. And then finally, you've got the drum pad and the sequencer over there. Yeah, so for this gig, I'm just running some tracks. I use DP. Very basic, just a uh, MP3 of all the music on one side and a click on the other. It's just a quick thing. To, we have some percussion loops, some horn samples. I use the SPDS for colors again, chimes, bells, a couple of conga. If I'm playing uh, one for shorty, the intro is hi-hat and conga at the same time. So I play that as opposed to having that in the sequence, you know? And you've got some Evans heads on there, I notice. Yeah, those are the heads. Those are my favorite heads. These are the level 360s, G1. They sound great. Tone, no matter how I tune them, I can still get tone and color. This guy with the holes in it on the snare drum 
If you notice, I have nothing to dampen the sound on this. That's because of these holes right here. So I can tune this drum and get a ring, or I can tune it and have it a little tight and not need to put anything on there because of this special head that Evans makes. It's gonna be loud, here we go. Hear that, nice and it's not ringing whatsoever. And uh, earlier you asked me about tuning drums. I, I, my approach with tuning really quick is to make sure that the tension rods are as close to the same note as possible. I just gave a tap with the drum key, that's a little flat but I did that on purpose because I wanted this to drop a little bit. I can loosen it more and make it drop a little bit more. Pitch for drums, toms. I always, the bottom head is where your pitch really comes from. That's it. Make sure that the top head is in tune with the bottom head. And then I mess around with the top head to get some drops, maybe to make it a little tighter to play or a little looser to play. And then final tweaks I'll do with the bottom as far as the pitch is concerned. And show us what the whole kit sounds like once you've got it set up. Sounds great. Cool. Th thanks, Craig.